Welcome to my channel. Well, in this episode, we are going to take a look at a toothpick drone that is super, super popular. Let me bring it close. What you're looking at here is the GEPRC Phantom HD. And the reason they call it HD is because it's got a digital camera in the front. And this here, I don't know, I can touch it right here. That's the stack. That's all digital. That's a Vista, CAD DX Vista. It's got a Nebula camera in the front. So you're going to get a digital signal coming to the back. And if you use a DJI controller and everything, you can fly this thing up to like four kilometers out which is pretty darn far for something so small. Now it's about 92 grams. The props on here are 2.5 inches. So if I went from a tip of a prop to the other tip of a prop, it'd be about six inches across. Now you're wondering what's so great about this little guy? Why does everybody love it so much? Well, because it takes a 4S battery and with the digital system and the fact that it only weighs 92 grams, well, you're under the 250 gram limit for sure. But not only that, it has a long flight range and not only that it is super super powerful in such a tiny package it's almost like they put a five inch quad like these are 2.5 inch props a five inch would have five inch props it's almost like they put a five inch quad into a 2.5 inch form factor it's really strange so this thing here, I'm going to fly it today around this field and some other areas. And hopefully if I get a chance, I'm going to take it over to some other guys to show them because this is like cool technology. So anyways, let's go fly this now. Now, since there's a digital camera in the front, a Nebula camera here, uh, I have to use these here DJI FPV goggles. They're the only ones that will work with this camera. Now for this flight to control it with a radio, I'm going to use my radio master it's because I asked FRC to put an XM plus receiver in the back because on this one here, I just love the way I can pick all my different quads. So that's what I'm gonna fly with today. Now there is no unboxing at the end of this video, so I'm just gonna show you right now what comes in the box. Spare props are included. You also get spare straps, spare straps for your battery and more antenna protection here. Also, you get the very popular GEPRC stickers, GEPRC support card. Since I have an XM Plus receiver, I get an XM Plus receiver instruction kit. And since it has a digital camera, you get a digital camera instruction sheet. The recommended battery for this is a four cell, 450 milliamp hour battery, which I have right here. And I also brought a 650 milliamp hour battery right here. It's a three cell, as you can see. It will just give you a little less punch when you're flying, but a longer flight time. Now, I just wanna show you once again how small this little quad is. Look, I put a three cell battery on it because I'm just gonna take it for a little flight to show you, but look at the size of the battery compared to the quad. That is just ridiculous. All right, so for this first flight, I'm just gonna power on my radio and I'm gonna fly it here just by line of sight. All right, so plug in the battery, get some power. And there we go. All right, here we go. Flick the switch, arm the motors. I'm gonna put it in angle mode. And uh, let's take it up and see how it flies. Look at that, look at that. It's coming over to me, it's like, yes. Hello, father, how are you? So, very easy to fly. This has a lot of power. I'm moving the joysticks very little and I'm getting tons of power out of this, tons of motion. Let me just spin it around here. So this is gonna be a blast to fly this out here. This is a really, really good drone. So let's, uh, how about I put the goggles on and take it for a flight? So let's bring it over here, bring it down. Let me see if I can hit the arm switch and catch it, got it. All right, for my first real flight with the goggles on, I'm putting on the 4S batteries. So here we go. Let's take off the 3S and put on the 4S. There we go, the 4S battery is on and we're all set to take it for a flight out in the field. Let me put it in. Acro mode. mode. There we go. All right, arm the motors, and uh, here we go. There she is, little baby. Now you will notice I have props in the frame. Look at it either side of my image chair. I got props on the left, props on the right. That is because of the camera angle. So I'm gonna adjust that in the, a later segment. But right now, I'm just trying this out. So, okay, first impression, very smooth. Going nice and smooth here through all the trees. Going around the field, I can go any way I want. 
This thing has a range of like, uh, well, I could go four kilometers. So it's quite, quite, quite far the range for such a tiny little drone. That's why people love these things because they're so small. You, you don't even notice they're around and you can do all sorts of cool things. Watch this, two points. Well, I don't think that's really called two points. And also they're very good. Let me get out of the sun because these little cameras on the Nebula, for some reason, the way they make the, uh, the lens on them, watch this, I'll get a lot of lens flare. You see the lens flare happening? It's pretty cool. Looks kind of cinematic, but uh, that's just the way they go. All right, I'm up high now, so let's uh, do a little bit of freestyle here. First, we'll do our little slow flip this way. Do one this way. Come around this way. Let's do a flip this way, nice and slow. So let's try a backwards flip this time. I'll go slow one. There we go, and spin it. Come around sideways, around the ground, like this. And there we go. And you can do little cool things too, like I always joke around like, oh, look, I'm a light inspector. I can come up and inspect these lights. Like, look at that. Hmm, any light bulbs not working? Well, let's see, they all look good to me. So these drones are a heck of a lot of fun. Let's go this way over here. I see a bird down there. Obviously the bird would win if we got into a fight but I can buzz the bird <laughs> and try not to hit the water. <laughs> Let's bring it back. But let me try the speed for you. I'll show you what it can do. This is the 4S, so this is as fast as I can get it with a 4S battery. So let me bring it down here, come down a nice little tight area, and I'll pick up some speed. Hopefully nobody comes walking out of this building. There we go. Go over my Jeep, go to the end of the field. I can fly around the entire park, and the park is extremely large, but with this drone, there's no worries. I can go from one end of the park all the way out here to where the highway starts. And uh, there's somebody down there. Hey, there's actually somebody coming to the park today. And then you can see the park extends way, way back there. See as far as the green goes? Way back there. And I can fly to the end of that park with this here little drone if I wish. And I can also do silly little things like dive down at the leaves. There we go and uh, go under trees. This is why people fly FPV. You gotta watch out for that net. And then under, and then up. There we go, nice. Very agile, very easy to fly, very maneuverable. And the flight time on this little thing with a 450 milliamp battery, you're probably, if you fly normal, you're probably gonna get six minutes flight time. So what I'm gonna do now is I am going to bring it back to me. Let me go over here and bring it nice and low to me. Keep an attorney, whoa, watch out for that tree. And go back over here, up through this, over here, down around this way, over to me. Let's come behind these trees. This way, going this way, underneath the tree, up over that tree, and then bring it back to me. Okay, so I'll bring it back to me, and then I'm gonna take it over to some of the other guys. And uh, if one of my buddies is there, Steve, he was really interested in small quads. He loves small quads, so. If he's over there, I'll let him check this one out. So let me just bring it down and land it over by me. Looking at me, I just want to get it so it looks at me when I land. There we go. I don't know if you could see this, but as I was coming down the land, this guy attacked my little drone, knocked it out of the air. I was like, what the hell happened? So that seagull, yeah, did you see that? He just knocked my little drone and here it is over here. <laughs> he was like pulling the battery off. Well, wow. that's what I mean. These things are so small. And you know, I guess they look like french fries or food to these little seagulls. That is weird. All right, so Steve hasn't seen the Phantom and this is the first time he's gonna check what it out. What you got for me? What you got for me? The Phantom, check it out. Nice. I like it, nice and compact. Good it's, flight time on, Steve, on that, Steve? Oh yeah, you can get about uh, six minutes. It's only Good. 92 grams. Good, yeah. Uh, so it's going to be under the 250 gr weight limit. It's it seems deep. quite powerful. Yeah. I had a seagull uh, attack it recently. <laughs> it <laughs> so. looks like it's still in one piece, so that's still, good news. Still in one piece. So here, how about we let you uh, fly it? <laughs> all right. He's getting all set up. The little Ooh. drone is down here. You should be good. excited. All right, here we go. There he goes. He's up. And he's flipping already. I'm good so far. There's a bit of a breeze, but it doesn't seem to affect it. Okay. Yeah, zoom it past us. I see you going over All to right. the school. Yep. Looking for obstacles to avoid. <laughs> All right. Yeah, Come in for a buzz. If you find a seagull, attack it, because it uh, attacked mine. Here it comes. Here it comes. Uh, there's a plane right there. I can there you that. go. We got the plane, and I see, the qu I see you right on top of it, almost. It's a fun little quad for sure. Whew. Feels very light. 
And that's what the 450, yeah. Yeah. I could imagine with that. I, I have a um, 653S. I tried it already, and yeah. it flew quite well. You know what? Yeah, I could imagine. Yeah, would have. I, I think I would probably like it better with an even heavier battery. Oh, like just to give it a little more. Uh, yeah, I don't know. It feels almost too light right now. You know what, too, Steve? What I would do is probably crank up the angle on the camera if it's yeah. possible. Yeah, because yeah. right now I feel like uh, I have to look up a little bit because I'm I'm giving it too much angle. I'm guessing. Well, if you bring it down, I'll yeah. I'll uh, switch batteries and right. uh, and I'll put the camera angle Let's up because that. Uh, that way you won't get the props yeah. in the uh, the image as well. Right. So here he is. Steve's coming over to us. It's gonna slide along the ground. Where is he coming? It's oh, going. I'll try to get it close. I'll try to impress you there. Steve. Okay. See if you can uh, <laughs> go through my legs. Yeah. I can try. Are you serious? You got a good entrance? I don't know. This is going to hurt. <laughs> <laughs> that was my foot. <laughs> All right. So uh, we've had a seagull attack this. And now my uh, Steve's just driven it into my foot. <laughs> All right. So let's change the battery out here. So first thing we're going to do, because I was telling the... Oh, yeah, yeah. Crank her up like another... Yeah, I was telling the viewers that to get the props out of the frame, you can just adjust the camera. And if I push this camera up, there we go. The, you, 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 you feel that that thing wants to go fast, so I'm, I'm giving it the angle that it wants to go in, but then I'm, I, then your I head's going like up. I yeah. gotta look up because the, the camera's pointing down a little too much. Well, you're not gonna have to do that anymore. So I did push it up. It's okay. not too crazy. It's yeah, about, yeah, it's about, it's about what I like to fly. Yeah. yeah, yeah, it looks like, good to me. Hey, Jacques, you going back up with a plane? If you're going up uh, with a plane, I could. Yeah. Oh. You've got uh, two minutes to get up. Two minutes. Because because <laughs> we're flying, we're flying. That's what she said. <laughs> Sorry, you have two minutes to get the plane up. Uh, maybe I'm pushing. Oh yeah, I'm pushing power. the battery a little more. Oh Jesus Christ! <laughs> I was close. I was climbing for him. And, oh. You'll see in the footage, that was flipping close. <laughs> I'm getting warnings now, so I guess I'll land it. Just keep flying, I'm gonna yeah. put it in oh. angle mode. Just get, yeah, if you don't mind, because I'm- You're in angle? You got lots so of power on that little thing, so it's, it's kind of hard know, to modulate the, uh, the throttle. So now an angle your nose is going to point upwards. Yeah. Oh, uh, uh, there you go. Well, you found the yeah. pavement. <laughs> <laughs> I, I think there's a warranty on this quad. <laughs> well, it looks like, I don't see any parts flying around. So And look, the battery's still oh, on. Good. Yeah, battery's still on. Yeah. So, uh, still let's see. Piece. I love it. There you go. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. That survived. Looks, brand new. looks like See? it's right out of the box. That's a, yeah. <laughs> well, sort of. <laughs> All right. So, what did you think of that flight? You know, we smashed, bashed, and crashed, and a seagull ate the thing, and it's still flying. <laughs> it was so fun. Yeah, lots of power. Uh, actually, I got to get used to modulating the throttle a little bit with it because I guess it's because it's so light. And uh, but yeah, the power was there. Uh, it was great to fly. Once we adjusted the angle. A lot more, a uh, lot more controllable as far as what I was seeing. I didn't feel like I didn't add to look up. Steve, so. Steve, it's my video. I get to do the ending. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, what are you doing? I do the endings. Anyways, if you enjoyed this video, <laughs> please give it a thumbs up. I'll get that in before well, what Steve does. What do you think it. of it, Steve? <laughs> <laughs> well, actually, thanks. I get to say something. Actually, the, <laughs> I love it because you saw already I flew it. I, yeah. I love these small little quads. And I know you love small quads. Yep, that's why I, I brought I it do. over. Yep. I didn't expect you to smash it into everything. But <laughs> but, but that's hey, still good. Still one piece. It's still one piece, yeah. So Steve loves, he really likes this quad. Yep. Anyway, so I'm going to put links below to where you can get on the GetBarC website. It's a very popular quad. If you check any reviews on this quad, it's always going to be a thumbs up. Everybody loves this quad. Yep. It's not super expensive. You can get it in digital form and not in digital form. This is the digital one. So it's up to you. Once again, links are below. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you have questions on the quad. I give it a thumbs up. Yeah, thanks. <laughs> if you have questions on the quad, just post them below and I'll get back to you. But thanks for watching. We'll catch you in the next video. Bye. Bye. <laughs>